this video. So far, we have read about arithmetic progression and its components. Today, in this video, we will learn to find the nth term of an arithmetic progression, that is, AP. We are given two categories here, where the first term of the first category is 3 and the common difference is also 3. And the first term in the second category is 26 and the common difference is minus 10. If we observe the first AP, the number of terms is fixed. Such an AP is called finite AP. And the second AP does not have the last term, that is, the number of terms is not fixed. Such an AP is called an infinite AP. Let us assume that A1, first term, A2, second term, A3, third term, A4, fourth term, one AP whose common difference is D. Here, first term A1 can be written as A plus 1 minus 1 multiplied by D. The second term A2 as A plus 2 minus 1 multiplied by D. The third term A3 as A plus 3 minus 1 multiplied by D. And the fourth term A4 can be written as A plus 4 minus 1 multiplied by D. Proceeding in the same order, we can express the nth term of A2 as A plus n minus 1 multiplied by D. It is the nth term of AP where A is the first term and D is the common difference. Here, AN is called the general term of an arithmetic progression. If there are m terms in the AP, then AM represents the last term, which is sometimes also denoted by L. Let's see an example. In a school ground, there are 35 students in the first row, 30 in the second row, 25 in the third row, etc. It has five students in the last row. How many rows of students are there in the school ground? Let the number of rows be n. Then, the first row, that is the first term A, equals 35. The common difference of the row D equals minus 5. And here, the last term, that is A n, equals 5. We have to find the number of rows of students. Therefore, we have to find the value of n. Can you tell me how will we do that? Well done! Looking at the pattern formed above, using the general form of AP, we can solve the problem and obtain the value of a n to be equal to 7. Hence, there are total of 7 rows of students in the school ground. Today in this video, we learn to find the nth term of an AP. In the next video, we will see some examples related to this concept. Welcome to this video. In our previous video, we learned how to find the nth term of an arithmetic progression. Today we will see an example based on this. Gaurav took a rented house for 15 years. He was given this house with a monthly rental of rupees 5000 and an annual monthly rental increase of rupees 500. What will be his monthly rent in the 11th year? The monthly rent for the first year will be rupees 5000. Can you find the monthly rent for the second year? Well done! It is very easy. We just have to add the annual increase to the monthly rent for the first year. 
Hence, the monthly rent for the second year will be rupees five thousand five hundred. Similarly, we can find the monthly rent for the third year by adding rupees five hundred to the rent of the previous year. Similarly, we can also find the monthly rent for the fourth year. Therefore, the monthly rent for the third year will be rupees six thousand, and the monthly rent for the fourth year will be rupees six thousand five hundred. If we observe carefully, we can see a pattern here. Can you tell me whether this is an arithmetic progression or not? Well done. This is an AP. We have to find the monthly rent for the eleventh year. Now, tell me what will we do to find the value for the eleventh year? Absolutely right. Now we will use the formula for the nth term, a n, or the general term of an a p. Here, the first term a equals to five thousand. The common difference d is five hundred, and n equals to eleven. Therefore, the eleventh term of the AP comes out to be ten thousand. So, the monthly rent for the eleventh year will be rupees ten thousand. In this video, we learned to find the nth term of an AP with the help of few examples. In the next video, we will see simple mistakes that can occur while solving these types of questions. Welcome to this video. In the previous video, we saw certain examples based on finding the nth term of an AP. Now we will see what are the common mistakes one can make while solving questions based on this method. Deepak's father started giving him rupees fifty as pocket money in the first month of the year, and then increased the monthly pocket money by rupees ten. If in the nth month his pocket money becomes rupees two hundred and sixty, then find the value of n. Pause the video to solve the question and then match your answer. You can see that here we have to find the nth month. From this example, we see that every month pocket money is increasing by rupees ten, forming a pattern. With which we can obtain an AP. Hence, with the help of the information provided and using the formula for the nth term or general term, we can solve the problem. The value of n comes out to be twenty-two. In this situation, we can say that in the twenty-second month, Deepak's pocket money will be two hundred and sixty rupees. So. Option three is the correct answer. If you have chosen the second option, it is a good attempt. But this is the wrong answer because you interchange the place of n and a n in the formula for the general term while calculating the value of n. And based on the same, you substituted all the values in the formula because of which your answer can be wrong. Here we have to note that n represents the number of terms and a n represents the value of the nth term. If you have chosen the first option, it is a good attempt. But this is also an incorrect answer. Here you have correctly written the formula for the nth term, but you replace the value of the first term. With the common difference and the value of the common difference with the first term. 
and solving the problem by substituting those values in the formula gives you the wrong answer. So hopefully, you must have understood by now why in this example the third option is correct and the other options are wrong. Teachers can also test the student's knowledge in class with the help of such examples. Thank <laughs> you.